everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Shawnee and we are Glitzy Stitches Home DIY. Thank you for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, hey, I hope everyone's having a fabulous day. Today we're participating in the KISS Keep It Simple Sunday challenge and that's hosted by melissa of melissa makes it and melissa's co-host today is jackie of jackie burns creations i'll have each of their the links to their channels listed in my description box below as well as a link to the playlist go check out melissa and jackie's channels guys they are absolutely fantastic been watching them for a long time and they're just so fun to watch they're just such a pleasure so go ahead and go check out their channels after you're finished watching my video and give them a big thumbs up. They're awesome. Okay, without further ado, it is what it is. It's Keep It Simple Sunday. And today we're going to be making, um, actually painting, this bunny. And you might recognize this. This is from the Dollar Tree. Um, and what we're going to be painting this with is I went to Hobby Lobby the other day. I like to stop in there once in a while and shop around. And I'm so glad I did. I went back to um, the sales section. And um, this is Plaid FX Smooth Satin. I'm going to try this paint today for the first time, guys. It was 99 cents. I bought the two that they had there. Um, you know, I'm one who always feels kind of bad about taking the last one, but man, that's a good deal, and I hope I like this. And then um, for the pink in our bunny today, we're going to be using um, Pink Polish um, by Apple Barrel, and that is an acrylic paint. So, and so is this. So I'm painting with acrylics today, guys. You know I don't do that too often. And I just painted my forehead. <laughs> so, all right, guys, let's get going on this. First, I went yesterday also. I should be doing a haul video is what I should be doing. I went yesterday as well um, to the Christmas tree shop, um, Hobby Lobby, the Dollar Tree, a couple of them actually. And um, also, oh gosh, where did I go? Oh, Burlington, a store called Burlington that we have here and um just had a blast it was a real blast so okay so what we're going to do first is our wood is pretty good i want to see which side's better actually this side is better okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead here and i would actually stain this um this would be a great wood to stain i can see some of the grain going through it but for the bunny i think we're going to go ahead and paint today i got these new paint brushes i am so happy with them now these i purchased at the dollar tree um but i do have some that i purchased you know what i'm wrong i got these at um five and below and um First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how I like this paint, and I'll let you guys know. Plaid products are awesome, so I'm thinking I'll probably like this. And the cool, yes, I do like it already. It goes on just like it says, like satin. And also, guys, um, the cool thing about this um, bunny that I can see right now is the wood grain is going vertical. So that's awesome because that's going to make it easier to paint. We won't have to fight against the grain. So just like so it's very light so i am probably going to take maybe a little bit of um waverly antique wax and go over this after this dries in some areas not all of it because we want it to have we want to keep that eye moving so not in all areas but we'll come back and we'll go around some of them just like so i love this Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get this painted, and we'll be right back. Okay, and what we're going to do next, um, that paint is fabulous, by the way, guys. I highly recommend this. Um, it dries quick, and it's the finish is unbelievable. It's the FX by Plaid Smooth Satin Flexible Acrylic Paint. Um, you guys, yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. Okay, it's just, it's satiny and so pretty. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I just left it in the little lid here. It's the wax um, by Waverly in the antique color. This is my little chip brush that I got in a kit yesterday. Um, and you know me, guys. When I do this, if I'm going to go dry brushing, I definitely am going to pat that paint right out of there. Okay, let's see how this is going to work. Okay, it's 
it's going to be good. And it's pretty much going where I'm laying it, so that's good as well. Okay, we can just go over that because we'll just paint over that with the pink. It's going to give our little bunny some texture here. So right over his face because we can still do a little face. Okay, just like that. And I'm loving it already. There we go. Just like that. Okay, maybe a little more right through here. And there we go. All right, that's enough of that. I think that turned out really cute. Just give him a little bit of the fur look. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to start applying the pink in the areas that the pink should go in. Again, I'm using the Apple Barrel um, Pink Polish. Here's we're going to apply the pink. This bunny will be facing us. I love the ones that are backwards as well, but I really, really want to detail. Now, I need to pick up another one of these now that if I can find it because I want to put make one backwards as well. So, and put the little bunny tail on it. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put the pink on. And as you guys know, um, I was going to come back full time just um, last week. And this has been so much more complicated than any of us could realize with my sister-in-law's passing. So I've been lucky to even sit down at my computer, period, let alone cut a video. And I've missed this so very bad because this is great therapy for me as well. So, and I've missed all you interacting and the challenges and um, the, uh, the uh, lives and such. So I just watched one last night. In fact, I seen uh, Jackie on there and I said hello to her and Melissa. Um, with um, Indiana Jones, they crafted blindfolded. Oh my gosh, you guys, check it out. I do believe she's going to do it again soon. Check it out. Anything she does like that, Annie of Indiana Jones, you guys check her channel out too. She's cool. She's really, really cool. Um, since I've been doing this, um, it'll be a year in June, um, making videos, that is. Um, I've made a lot of friends and I love and respect them all, so. It's crazy. It's just so much fun. And boy, did I miss you guys. Just know that. Subscribers. And the people I work with. And that turned out really cute, I think, guys. Okay. So, and another thing I'm going to tell you guys is I'm going to really, really start concentrating on my gnomes. I might even do just a channel just dedicated to my gnomes. Um, my gnomes have been my passion, and they are just doing so very well. Okay, we're going to get our little toes going here. Can you believe it's Easter already? You guys, half of the things that I got, and I will tell you guys when that occurs when I'm making a project from this, um, half of the things I got last year after you could go back into the store um, with a mask on, and I went and I bought, you know, you guys, probably 75% of my Easter stock last year because they were having their Easter clearance at 90% off at Hobby Lobby. And you guys, wait till you see some of the things I purchased. I mean, they are just gorgeous. And I said, well, gosh, I'll just keep them and use them for next year. And a couple of things I have used all through the year. So, all right, let's see here. Yeah, this is, this is adorable. Okay, I'm really, really liking this. And we may put some textured whis whiskers on, excuse me. I'm not sure yet. Um... I might paint them on. I bought an easel yesterday as well. I'm going to do some more painting on my channel, guys. Um, I actually took Donna Dewberry classes, and um, I just add a little bit of my own whip to it, and it's just fun. So, okay, just that easy, guys. Marker, and these markers, again, I purchased at Michael's. It's the Recollection set, and they go on just like paint. And I love them. I've used them a whole lot in some of my other videos. So what we're going to do, I'd like for you guys to be able to see this, is I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to trace what I've marked here, just like that. And just draw my eyelashes. We're going to have her little eyes closed. All right. And then on the other side as well, same thing. Just like so. This is adorable. And we're going to go ahead. 
we're going to make her little eyelashes just like so. Okay, love it. Okay, now this is pink. Her nose is pink, but <laughs> so, okay, guys, let's do this now. All right, there we go. There we go. And there we go. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to take a pink and I'm not sure if I want to differentiate the pinks that I have in the ears with the pinks that I think we're going to go ahead for the soft pink since it's pastel -y. And I think of Easter colors as being more pastel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it like this, guys. And we're going to go just like this. And if you have to add more color, by all means, add more color. Um, I may go over this in paint. Um, oh, that's cute. Okay. Very, very cute. All right. And um, just to match my little pinks there, I think I'm going to do that, actually. This is adorable, though. I really do like it. Then I see something that I wanted to do around the feet, and I wanted to tell you guys about that. We're going to go ahead and we're going to implement that around the little feet um, to make them more texturized. There we go. All right. Love it. That's perfect. Okay, guys. Um, and just any face, any face you want to make for your little bunny, I think that's adorable. This just turned out really cute. Okay, let me show you what I'm speaking of. Um, as around the feet dry out there okay with my chip brush and I'm going to take again the Waverly antique wax okay now here's what I'm going to do tap 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 see how that is kind of wooly I guess you'd put it I love that motion just to detail that we want that detail right there perfect that turned out really really well we're going to do that again we're going to repeat it on this side right at the the heel, I guess you'd say. That's his little heel, I guess. Okay, just like that. And it just gives him a little bit of texture. Now, let me see if we want to do any down here at the bottom. Hmm, well, no, I think that's good right at the feet. And that's how we're going to do that. I think this turned out adorable. Okay, friends, project number two, quick and easy once again. Here's what we're going to do. I purchased this last year at Hobby Lobby um, on 90% clearance. This was $3.99. I got it for $0.39. Cents. What a deal. Again, it was right after the pandemic, and I hadn't been out, and I went over there on a whim, and sure enough, boom, there it was. So here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to use some more of this fantastic acrylic um smooth satin paint by waverly guys i'm telling you let me see i don't even what is the color i'm not even sure actually here it is okay the color of this is i don't even know um let me see guys i don't even see the color but I liked it i can tell you that much and it is just like it says it's like satin so we're going to go ahead now let me see how it's going to apply with this brush here okay this is one of my new brushes and we're going to see how this is going to go on to the egg i'm hoping good but this egg is an awful smooth surface and so let's see if i'm going to have to change it oh my goodness you guys it might take two coats of this but this paint i am just amazed with this paint um, and I'm very blessed that I was there to catch the sale on this 99 cents. So yeah, yeah. Oh, I love this. And you know, guys, I work so much with chalk paint. Um, I may have to use a bit more acrylics because these are, wow, I'm just really impressed with today's acrylic painting. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get the egg all painted and we'll be back. I just think this is beautiful. The egg is very lightweight, so I'm going to wait until this dries a little bit more, and we're going to actually adhere this to the candlestick with some hot glue. Um, I am actually probably going to put some permanent E6000 on this, guys, because I am really liking this. That's beautiful. So what I want to do first is I want to adhere our egg to our candlestick okay and i'm going to do all that right here and i have a brand new which i'm very excited about tube of e6000 so 
we're going to put the E6000 on first. And then we do a couple dabs right here, right here, right here, and right here. Okay. Then I'm going to grab my hot glue, a couple shots here, here, and here. We want to get it straight. Okay. Just like so. There we go. Let me see if this is straight. Yep, it's perfect, I think. All right, guys. All right. Yep, that looks great. Okay. So, there we go. It's on with our hot glue and our E6000. Now, so, I picked these up at the Dollar Tree a while back. These are our pastel dots. And this is gorgeous. I just love these. These are the white pearls. And I just... I tried the colored ones and they just did not look as good as the white guys. I am very, I like lighter colors, lighter pastels. Um, and I didn't even like the blue as well as I like the white. So, and then the mixed color. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do this just like this. We're going to go from about, cause we are going to be putting a bow on this. Okay. So we're going to go from about right there. We're going to mark this right there. Just go to the bottom and then just snip. There we go. Just like so. I'm going to put this back on here because if we do another egg, we're going to want this just like that. And I'm going to run a strip here. Okay. All right. We're going to put it right. Try to get it right as even as possible, guys. Two. There we go. All right. There we go. That's great. Right, right here. Paint at all. That is awesome. Okay, now let's get our dots. And we are going to go with the different colors of our dots, I think. I think we'll do, oh goodness. We'll just go around and see what we have here. All right, let me see. There's, let me see. We need one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. Hmm. Okay, we are going to go, let's go some pink. Here, we'll just do this like a few. We'll just stick it out with the dots and see what happens. Okay. This is going to be really, really pretty. Let's just do, let's do five. Let's keep this in an odd, odd um, number. Let's go this color next. Okay, the green, all right, all right, that's going to be perfect, I think, guys, and then there's a blue, a blue, let's see, and also, if you want to add some E6000, some hot glue to this, you can do so, or you can also Mod Podge over this to hold it, that would work, all right, guys, here we go, just like this, and I can see now we're probably going to have to move the last one we did down just a little bit. And then let this last dark purple one down here. Okay, just like that. Okay, we're going to move, actually, we'll move this one up a bit. Oh my goodness. No, you know what, guys? I don't want to wreck it, so I'm going to leave it like that. That really, that's going to be so beautiful. Let me shut that. That's going to be so pretty pearl on the top as well so it just completes the egg i think this turned out fantastic i am going to make another one so i can have a set of these to set out at easter in my home and i'm going to put a bow down here so i'm going to go look in my bow stash and i'll be right back and also from our first project i have a little bow that i want to put on our little rabbit here be right back guys Okay, friends, and there we have it. This is DIY number one, our little painted bunny. I love the way this turned out, and I added the little bow. I think that's really, really cute. And then here's our egg with the bow I added onto our egg. I think this just turned out adorable. I love it. Okay, everyone, and make sure you go check out Melissa and Jackie's channels. Again, the links are in my playlist below. Or excuse me, the links are in my description box below. And also check out the playlist. It's awesome. I just love watching these playlists. And Keep It Simple Sunday is one of the funnest. I love it. It's one of my favorites. 
Okay, guys, and there we have it. That's our two projects for today. Thank you for joining me. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscription button. Also hit the notification bell right next to it, and you'll be notified each time I upload new video. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day. Bye.